other part of your business, Bharat Banking, that is completely new for you. Yeah. Tell us about your plans there. What growth you envisage? That's very exciting. Yes. Um, so that 15 of the 23 bar branches will, will be in be. rural Madhya Pradesh, yes. in three districts of Madhya Pradesh. Mm. Um, we call it Bharat Banking. Yeah. Um, what it means is, um, it's really rural banking. Mm. Uh, now the technology exists in a very cost-effective manner for us to, again, completely raise the bar on service. And our oh. commitment is yes. that we will take banking to the community. Mm. We don't expect these people to come to the bank branch. Yeah. So we have designed a hub and spoke um, system mm. for delivering services in this manner right. uh, from a hub that uh, is, is, uh, is the receptacle or is the holding place for our ambulatory sales force mm. that are supported with many, many cash and cash out points that are manned and operated by partners using IDFC bank technology. The yeah. payback period for a branch is yes. less than three years, mm. right? Once, the pay, once you've paid back for the not very substantial capital that is required to create this architecture right. on a per branch basis, yeah. the return on equity for each ecosystem on a branch is between 15 and 20 percent. And so you will be profitable from day one in rural banking? No, you cannot be profitable from day one. You'll be profitable from day, you know, the third year, mm. which is the payback period. Yes. Um, and then it depends on how fast we grow our branch infrastructure. Yes. But each branch, yes. that's the way to look at it, mm. will be profitable within 36 months. Tell me about your PSL targets now that you've become a bank and you have yeah. to comply to 40 percent PSL. How yeah. difficult will that be? It'll be very difficult. Because we are starting with a very large balance sheet. Yes. So if you start with a 55,000 crore loan book, yeah. and that's growing at whatever, you know, 10 mm -hmm. odd percent a year, um, every year the challenge for, um, you know, meeting our PSL requirements grows. So a lot of our incremental lending will happen um, in PSL space. So some of it, a lot of everything we do in Bharat Banking is all PSL. Right, right, but will you have to buy maybe some of these loans yes, too? Yes, we will do that as well. We will we will partner with others who are doing PSL lending. So we have made some investments in uh, uh, microfinance companies. Um, in which we've taken equity. Uh, so For instance? Um, uh, I'd rather not mention the invade in public just as yet. Right. Uh, but there are these kinds of relationships in which we've got a small equity stake. So, hmm. It creates a much stronger relationship. It allows us to have an influence on their underwriting standards um, yeah. and how they operate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that's another another form of partnership. Then there is a payments bank. Yes. What so is your plan on the payments bank front? Let me just get to it then. Um, now you have a partnership. So it's it's, it's uh, 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 those plans are being formulated as we speak. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Mr. Shangri, Telenor, and ourselves are yeah. sitting down to develop. Uh, uh, those plans, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, again, the goal is uh, uh, to uh, use the payments bank infrastructure yes. um, to deliver complementary services between the bank and the payments bank uh, to a very large growing customer base. Mm -hmm. Our customer base, our target, is to have 15 million customers within five years. Now, if we are if we are able to do that. Think of the franchise value this creates for us. Um, uh, so it rolled forward 10 years, hmm. uh, and we have 15 million customers that we acquired. With 10 years from now, will be close to 25 million. Hmm. Uh, the 15 million customers that we will have acquired in the first five years, hmm. within 10 years, will presumably be uh, much wealthier. Uh, than they were when okay. we first established a relationship with them. Okay, let me get to the key issue, asset quality of banks, which mm. has been deteriorating. Mm. You've made excessive provisions, mm. which will, um, of course, curb your net NPAs. Mm. But can you tell me an overall picture of what, when you're starting operations as a bank, what will the asset quality picture look like? What will the net and gross NPA figures be around? Uh, so, uh, uh, net NPAs are around uh, 2 or two percent. Okay. Um, uh, uh, our total restructured assets, our total stressed assets, 15. which is basically restructured assets and gross NPAs, hmm. are uh, in the range of, uh, it's a large number, it's in the range of 9%, 9 to 10% of our book. Okay. Um, and uh, against that, 
we have 4,500 gross information. And what is the longer term plan, um, say by the end of the fiscal, by next year? In percentage terms, these things will shrink as our balance sheet grows. Yeah. But in absolute terms, you know, these assets are not going to disappear. Yes. Um, and so the, our goal is to recover value um, from uh, this portfolio. You know, effectively, we have, uh, unlike any other uh, financial institution, we have effectively, by taking these aggressive provisions, we have created de facto a mini bad bank. Yeah. Um, and our goal is really now to recover okay. more than we have provided for against mm. this portfolio. And we believe that we provided. So you believe this 2% net NP that you're starting yeah. with will come down now that you're taking these measures? It depends on how fast or uh, not our balance sheet grows. Right. Uh, but in absolute. With 10, 15% growth? Again, it should come down. Uh, it should come down is the, is the short answer. So you'll close the year uh, um, below 2% NPAs, are you hopeful at least, this fiscal? Should be. On the base rate front, could you give us a clearer picture? At what rates firstly are you offering your customers now? I mean, will competitive pricing uh, come into play to poach customers now to start with? So you're getting an exclusive now. I'll give you our base rate, <laughs> you're starting with 9.5%. Given the interest rate scenario where the Reserve Bank will focus on banks transmitting more rates, yeah. do you think these rates will come down in the next few quarters, as most banks are hoping they will. I hope they do. I mean, I think that's the... Is the headroom right now, when you're starting with 9.5% base rate? Is the headroom? It depends on really how the market behaves. Right. Um, uh, you know, we're not a price maker, uh, a price setter in the market. Not yet. Uh, we're, a, we're a price taker. Yes. So it depends how the com competition behaves. But competition We've tried to set our base rate yeah. at, a, uh, you know, at a reasonably competitive uh, benchmark.